Hello everyone. This video we're going to learn how to enable the motion recording on our POEIP cameras. So whenever we set the camera to motion detector or human detector, it will detect the activity and then trigger the recording features on our IP camera. This will save us a lot of storage in our hard disk drive because if we keep the recording going on 24-7, it's going to use up a lot of space. But when we set this alarm system to detect the activity, then start recording, it will spare all the f useless video footage. So the two types of detections, human and motion detections, the human detection is for detecting human structure. So only when a big portion of human body appears in the image, it will start recording. And the motion detection is when there's anything changing, maybe like a leaf falling in front of the camera or a cat or an other kind of wild animal walking in front, a car, or maybe the sunlight change. These will trigger the motion detector. So the motion detector sometimes will have a lot of false alarms. Both of these are, they stand within our recording systems alarms feature. So we all we have to do is open, go to that place and then we will see how easy it is to set and enable this detector recording. What I have right here is a PoE PTZ camera and it's connected to our NVR system right here. So now all I have to do is go to our NVR's interface and then I'll show you guys how to enable this motion detector feature. Now right here I have a system, it's a PoE PTZ IP camera. This camera is connected to our NVR which will give us control to the camera and record anything we want and do a lot of settings. Now I'll go to the I'll go to the NVR's interface and show you guys how to enable the motion recording, the motion detector and the human detector. So once the detector recording is activated, it will help us save a lot of space. Okay, right now I have the image for our PTZ camera. If I wave my hand in front of the camera, you can see there's nothing happening. This means the motion detectors are disabled currently. Now we just right click, go to main menu. On the third alarm section here, we click it, go to intelligent alert. Right now, since our camera is on channel two, we're gonna go to channel two, and then we're gonna click on enable. And once it is enabled, you can see that everything's lit on and now, and now, Let's go back to the interface of our camera. And you can see on the right bottom side here, when, I, when something moves in front of the camera, there'll be a little red code there. This means it will currently be detecting this motion. Once it picked up this motion, it will start recording. And we will just keep on the settings, go to the feature settings. So now we are sure that the motion detector is enabled. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions about how to enable the motion detector on our IP camera system, you can leave them at this, leave the questions at the section below. Thank you guys for watching today and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.